Bowser, I'm Christian. And I'm Amisha. We're your anchors for Wednesday, March 14th. Please stand for the pledge. Today is National Pie Day. Our lunch options for today will be a buffalo chicken sub, any honey barbecue rib party sandwich, a chicken salad sandwich, and a tuna salad sandwich. Our sauce today are broccoli with cheese and a fresh veggie tray and baked sweet potatoes. Yesterday, famed scientist Stephen Hawking died. He was 76 years old and famous for his groundbreaking work in theoretical physics and particularly with black holes. Mina Basirin, a Turkish bachelorette, and 10 others were killed when the plane taking them home crashed in Iran. The plane belonged to reportedly Mina's father, the Turkish billionaire. The Svort Hotel is planned for the Arctic Circle. This will be the world's first energy positive hotel when it opens in 2021. The reason it needs to be energy positive is because it is going to be placed in the only place that the environment hasn't been spoiled. Now to Isaiah with the sports and weather. Thank you, anchors. There are still baseball and softball tryouts going on today. For any student who is interested in trying out for lacrosse, tri tryouts in today and are at Lawrence North at 4.30 p.m. You must find your own ride. There will not be a bus to or from Belzer. Track and field uniforms must be ordered online this year for all students who wish to be part of the team. The order deadline is today. Boys must order maroon jerseys and girls must order the gray jerseys. Now for the weather. The high temperature will be 43 degrees and a 0% chance of precipitation and 52% chance of humidity and wind speeds of 14 miles per hour. Here is a video of former Belgian and LC student Kyle Guy who plays for Virginia. He is currently leading his number one ranked team in the NCAA basketball tournament. Here's the pop out by Guy. Goes with a runner again. This time it drops through the nylon. He's amazing. I mean, he's always amazing. Great guy, and I'm really, I'm really happy for the team right now. I'm sure Kersey will take care of him and a few other guys that run officiating for conferences around the country. There's Kyle Guy. Look out if he gets going. Largest lead of the night. How many did he have? I got to know. He made some big shots. Yeah, and he just worked, and uh, he gets guarded really hard, but he was really good. One of those five pillars of success that we hear so much about, the servant. That's what Wilkins is, and there's another quick answer. It's not like any other game, but we come out every game the same. So we just leave it all on the floor and just try to play as a team, and we did that uh, all week. Four in four days for North Carolina. Guy over Clayton, got another one. Here comes Guy. What do you do? I've never uh, played with a group of guys like this. You know, we trust each other and we love each other. So, you know, that's what's most important to me. Double stack low. Got There's that ability to pivot on a dime to square himself to the basket. Thanks, Isaiah. There will be an eighth grade trip on May 29th to the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. The cost is $52. The bus leaves at 7 a.m. and returns that night. Permission slips will be available to, at the lunch. Students who have referrals ARR slips are as eligible to go. Sign up now because it's first come, first serve. Next Thursday, the yearbook staff is hosting Mustache Day. If you have purchased a yearbook or started a payment plan by that day, you will get a free mustache to wear all day. This Friday fiction author, Aaron Galvin, will be at Belzer for select classes. However, any student with money can get a signed copy of one of his books. Just bring in $10 to receive your own personal signed book. On this day in history, in 1879, Albert Einstein was born. The celebrity birthday today is Stephen Curry, who is turning 30. He is a star point guard who has been named NBA's MVP. Our random fact of the day is that snails can go across blades and knives without being harmed. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of your morning announcements. Have, Have a great, great day, day Bruins. Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. Uh, just a quick announcement before I turn things over to Miss Neal. 
uh, for some work on Navient. Over the last two days, I've had a lot of students talking to me about student rights. And there are a couple things that I want to make sure that I address this morning, and I would encourage all students to please pay attention and listen closely. Um, there is a court case back in 1969 um, where the federal courts decided that students do not leave their rights to freedom of speech at the schoolhouse door. And what that means is though, even though you are here in our school building, you still have a certain number of rights as a citizen and as a student. I want to warn students though, that if they uh, were ever considering any sort of demonstration or a way to exercise those rights, that they do so with caution because there are some things you need to make sure you understand and you better know what you're doing. Um, so just a couple quick reminders today. Number one, first and foremost, students during the school day at Belzer today and every day are not permitted to exit the school and leave the building. Okay, I want to make sure that is clear. That is done for your own safety. Our school is located on uh, a busy street um, surrounded by neighborhoods and quite frankly if students leave our building we don't have the means to protect you and keep you safe. So I want to remind students at no time should any student leave or exit our school building during the day unless they do so through the front office with a parent. Second thing um, is I want to make sure that when students understand that if they choose to demonstrate in any way that they actually know what they're demonstrating, know what they're memorializing, know what they're standing up for or advocating for. If you don't know what you're advocating for, you don't know what you're demonstrating for, then you're not part of the demonstration, okay? So keep that in mind. And then lastly, please remember also that involved in that case in 1969, they made it very clear that students do have rights, but they need to make sure when they exercise those rights that it does not infringe upon the rights of others. So I need students to also remember very carefully that any sort of demonstration, any sort of um, exercising of your rights must not interfere with the learning environment in this building and must not interfere with the rights of others in this building to learn. So I just wanted to go over those three things this morning and make sure I was very clear. I had some great conversations with students yesterday and already again this morning. Very proud that those students came to me with their questions to make sure um, they knew what was going on. So I appreciate that. Before I turn it over to Miss Neal, I do want to remind all uh, students that wish to play football next year, our new Lawrence Central varsity football coach is in the cafeteria and would like a few minutes of your time. So if at this time, if you are interested in playing football um, next year, whether that's here as an eighth grader or across the street at the high school next year in eighth or ninth grade, please at this time, go. those students should go to the cafeteria at this time. The rest of you, please stay tuned. Ms. Neal is going to talk with you a little bit about Navience. Thank you. Good morning. All right, students, today we are launching Navience. Some of you may or may not know about this. Seventh graders, you probably have never heard of it. So we're going to talk a little bit about it and let you know what it is. And then um, we will spend time now throughout the year, uh, the rest of the year, going over some curriculum uh, information, career, college information, so we want to start that process today. So the thing that you need to do first is take out your computer and then go to your launch page. And Caitlin's gonna help me walk you through it. So if you can get onto your computer, onto the launch page now, that would be great. All right, you will see on your launch page, the fifth link down is Naviance. I need for you to click on that and then you will get to a page that will require you to put in your email or your login. It says email, but don't think of email. Think of your username that you have every day, your zero number. And then your original password. Everyone listen to this. This is your original password, not the one you changed it to, but the one that was given to you first before you changed it. So if you would put in that original password, you will then get to the curriculum. Very good, Caitlin, thank you. Then you will see a page that says, Welcome to Bel Belzer's Navion's Family Connection. And then you will see on the upper left-hand corner, it says resources and then my lessons. I need for you to click on my lessons. And on this page, you will see basically the curriculum that we're going to be using. 
the one that I need for you to uh, access first, and this is seventh and eighth. If you're in a uh, room with seventh and eighth graders, you will notice that your screens are very different. The seventh graders have a curriculum that's different from the eighth graders, but everyone starts with what do you know? Between now and Friday, I would like you, for you to finish this lesson. And so go ahead and click on it. Getting started. And then it will take you through a series of questions that you need to answer. And this is kind of our baseline lesson that everyone will start. And so again, between now and Friday, this is the lesson that we expect you to complete. We will do at least one lesson per week and that will finish out our year in addition to other activities. So students and staff, uh, if you would take time to, um, to, to take a look at this curriculum, uh, teachers, you might need to help students get through this. If there's anyone who does not have that My Lessons button, please uh, email the grade level counselor and we'll make sure that we get the students in the system. Any new students, we entered you yesterday, so hopefully everyone in the building has access. So go ahead and feel free to complete this lesson today, or again, we're going to reissue this to you on Friday. The goal today is to make sure that everyone is able to get in. This is a great program that our district has purchased for us and we want to utilize it. So take time to do this and have a great day.